Arizona School Authority is tracking a big story out of the West Valley, and this time it has nothing to do with the heated debate over virtual and in-person learning, Jerry. Hundreds of parents may soon have to find a new school for their kids. Jason Berry is joining us live from Glendale to explain why. Jason? Well, as if the pandemic wasn't stressful enough for parents and students, a number of schools may be closing down because of some serious financial problems the Glendale Elementary School District is now facing. I, I live the other side of the bridge. Alba Souffle is ready to sign her boys up for kindergarten. The only problem, the school she wants them to go to may not be around much longer. Where will they go if it closes down? I don't know. I don't know. I, I need to look for a school. You don't want it to close down? No, 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 no. Isaac Imes Elementary is one of several schools in the Glendale Elementary School District on the chopping block. Board members are considering a plan to close or repurpose up to five schools over the next two years, with Imes and Sign Elementary targeted first. The district is currently operating under a $13.5 million deficit, forcing school officials to make drastic changes that include redirecting hundreds of kids to other campuses. Jan U says having his younger brother and sister switch schools will create potential problems for his family. What would be the biggest problem? Definitely transportation. I think that would be the biggest problem. Since, you know, my, like, like I said, my dad has work and stuff, there's not really someone to take them to school. Arizona School Authority has learned the district's financial problems are directly linked to a drop in enrollment at many of the 17 campuses spread across Glendale and West Phoenix. The district's website identified several factors for the decrease in students. Below average birth rates dating back to 2008, lack of affordable housing in the area, increased competition from K-8 through charter schools. Parent Eliza Limon thinks eliminating some of the district's older schools will benefit students in the future. It is the correct decision. We've been here for six years and it's just going downhill. Every year it gets worse and worse, so I'm glad they're closing it down for all the kids. The school board is meeting today for a study session to discuss enrollment issues and possible closures. A public hearing has been scheduled for February 25th. In the West Valley, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.